الحمد لله اللهم صل وسلم على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اللهم انفعنا بما علمتنا وعلمنا ما ينفعنا وزدنا علما وبعد so uh, we're back on fiqh al maliki and we're, we're doing at tahara which is uh, we're doing al wudu right now and uh, we're do we'll do a quick revision uh, we were speaking about the pillars of of wudu so you, you know feel free to uh, to ask, to uh, to interject, to uh, you know, to interact, inshallah. Uh, we said uh, how many pillars of wudu? There were seven. The intention, al niyatu wal muwala, muwala is continuity. What dalk is to wipe with the inside of your palm. Wa ghasl al wajhi, the face. Wa ghasl al yadaini ila al mirfaqin. Wa mas al ras, to wash the hands. The hand here in the, in the Quran means. All the way to the elbow. Masu al Rasi, wiping over the head, Waraslu Rijlain and to wash the feet. So and I also uh, sent on um, you you guys saw that on um, on WhatsApp, the, the verse that I want you to memorize. The verse yes. is in Al Ma'idah, it's good to memorize. The the, the verse is much longer than that, but uh, uh, the, the, we, we should only at least memorize the part that uh, is relevant to this uh, topic. Ya ayyuha alladhina amanu idha qumtum min as-salati faghsilu wujuhakum wa aydiyakum ila al-marafiq wa msahu bi ru'usikum wa aydiyakum ila al-marafiq. Sorry, wa msahu bi ru'usikum wa arjulakum ila al-ka'bayn. Wa msahu bi ru'usikum wa arjulakum ila al-ka'bayn. That's the, the, the portion of the verse that we should be memorizing. And this, these are the pillars. So he, here are the pillars. The pillars are the intention, al muwala is to be continuous, not to, to have any stops. What delk is to wipe with your, the, 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 the inside of your palm, washing the face, washing the hands to the elbows, wiping over your head, and then washing your feet. And we said that the niya is in the heart, and it has to be done just before, preferably just before the, uh, the act of uh, al-wudu. It doesn't matter if uh, it disappears after you have made it, the niya is always there, um, and also you make the niya so that you know the niya is that you are doing wudu so that you are able to do the ibadah. Uh, the adalk uh, um, we did we did the muwala before or we did adalk. We'll we'll cover them all inshallah, no problem. Adalk is very simple. Adalk is when you do your wudu, washing your face, wiping over your head, washing your hands, your feet, and so on. It must be done with the inside of your palm. And when you do it with the inside of your palm, it must be done just once. Not, you know, re repeat repeatedly. Uh, so, al wudu is something which is very gentle. You do it once. You do it with your the, the middle of the, your, your palm. And, uh, and, and that's it. So, it's very strict in wudu. And it's very relaxed in al ghusl because in wudu, you're able to do it with the inside of your palm. It, the, the, the limbs are very close. But in ghusl, how do you wash your back, you know, your feet? Some people are uh, old and not flexible. They're heavy. Uh, so they do it with the back of the palm is per permissible, the back of the, fa the hand, or even with uh, a, an object. So this delk, this pillar of wudu and ghusl in, uh, is is very is very relaxed in, in wudu okay is that clear okay and then al muwala and this is your question al muwala hal tajibu mutlaqan so we had uh, three levels three levels of um, three levels of al muwala al muwala means that it must be continuous when does it happen that al wudu is broken in terms of continuity. When when does it break? When is the continuity broken? There's three instances. One, if you're forgetful, it's possible. Uh, you know, you start something, you get you get distracted, and you forget, and then you go back to do it. Okay, you were distracted. Al ajizu, al ajizu is the one who is it. The 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 wudu becomes out of his control. Well, uh, the one who does it purposefully. So, uh, and Nasi, we just uh, described it. Al Ajizo, the one, if it's out of your control, how can it become out of your control? Um, you know, you were, you made sure that you had enough water to make wudu. You're in, in, in the country or in the desert. You've um, carried water for your wudu. And then in the middle of your wudu, the water pours. 
or someone just took it away or anything which is out of your control you're doing water you're doing wudu in your washroom and then the water uh, uh, there's a water shortage all of a sudden so it's out of your control so one of them is uh, forgetfulness one is out of control and the one is purposeful you know I'm gonna do wudu but uh, I'll just do it and then see what happens or it's not uh, determined so it's it's purposeful and maybe you know I'm gonna stop and then come back later no you can't just do that you can just say I'm gonna start and come back that's purposeful so um, there's so these three it says here uh, nasi, the first one the one who's forgetful he got distracted nasi, uh, okay this fiabni fiabni so he does albina albina is to continue from where he has left off so if someone is forgetful it's also out of his control you know he's forgetting but then so because of that he does albina he builds upon where he has left off mutlaqan doesn't matter when he stopped maybe an hour ago he can go back and he can finish it. it it's, it's a problem with his memory. Uh, but woman farraqa ajizan murtakiban li asbabi al arzi bi an dhanna al ma alladhi a'addahu yakfihi aw shakka annahu yakfihi aw tayaqana anna al ma ala yakfihi fa in qasura al zaman bana ma ala ma fa'ala wa in tala a'ada al wudu. So the second one, the second one is al ajiz something that happened out of his control we've explained some of those scenarios it happened out of his control what does he do when he has water when he is able to get water what it says here if the time is short and we will explain what is the definition of a short time short what is what is meant by just a little bit of time in qasur al-zaman, bana ala ma fa'ala. Okay, so it's not a long time, you know, I started making wudu and all of a sudden there's a shortage of water. And all of a sudden water is coming back. The time wasn't too long. I can go back and continue and finish my, my wudu. Wa in tala a'ad al-wudu. If that time was too long, you know, um, you know, I started doing my wudu, there was a, a water shortage. Uh, at three o'clock, it came back at four o'clock. It's a whole hour. An hour is too long. We will dis we will see what is the definition of uh, the time. وَمَنْ فَرَّقَ مُتَعَمِّدًا مُخْتَارًا فَحُكْمُ حُكْمُ الْعَاجِزِ فِي الصُّورَةِ الْآخِرَةِ The same with okay, and so the, the same with the person who who is purposefully uh, stopping his wudu. فَإِنْ قَصُرَ الزَّمَانِ مَا فَعَلَ وَإِنْ طَلَأَ أَعْدَ الْوُضُو same as the, the second condition, second scenario. The second scenario we've just said, if it's a short time, he can continue on what he has done, if it's too long. So the person who has purposefully, who has purposefully stopped his wudu, you know, I'm going to do my wudu, and I want, uh, and he says, no, I'm, I'm going to stop right here, and I'm going to go and answer that email. I know I, know I had to answer that email, or, or I, have to, I have to answer that call. You've started your wudu, you have to continue your wudu, but he's purposefully stopping it. Okay, this is not out of his control. He can he can continue his wudu. So if it's too long, he has to restart his wudu from scratch. So now it says, فَإِنْ قَصُرَ وَعَادَ الْوُضُوءَ مِنْ جَدِيدٍ مُطْلَقًا طَالَ الزَّمَنَ أَوْ قَصُرَ عَادَ اسْتِحْضَارُهَا So, فَإِنْ قَصُرَ الزَّمَنُ عَلَى مَا فَعَلَ مِنْ طَالَ الْوُضُوءَ هذا كله إن كان متعمد غير إرافد للنية. فإن رفض فإن رفض النية. The fourth the fourth scenario which is not what was not mentioned in the beginning. Uh, the fourth scenario is someone who has uh, no no no. I'm not going to continue my wudu. I'm going to go and uh, do my workout. Then I'll come back and do my wudu and I'll pray. That person, you know, he started his wudu and he broke it. You know, he's calculating in his mind that he should be doing his workout before he finishes his wudu. And then that person, no, that person has to repeat it from the, from scratch. Mutlaqan, from the beginning. There's no, no questions about it. it, whether it's a little time or long time. Is that clear so far? Huh? 
Chet, inshallah. Chet. Okay, and so now we said something. We said the length of time. So now we have to define what is that the length of that time. بماذا يعتبر الطول؟ The length of time it says يقدر الطول بجفاف العضو الآخر في الزمن المعتدل الذي لا حرارة فيه. Very interesting how we define this in in the fiqh. In the, the fuqaha have said that uh, the length of this time is defined as the moment from which uh, give me a second. The moment from which you have you have uh, washed your last limb, your last limb. Let's say I was doing my hands, my face. I mean, I, I, I did my hand here, washed uh, my face, my hands, uh, and and then I did one foot. I have one more foot to go. So my last foot is my last limb. So the moment from my last foot, washing my last foot, and that from that moment, from that moment. Uh, you have to take in consideration the following. Um, it's not windy, okay? It's not too cold, not too hot. Um, I, it, I, I am not an old person, I'm not a young person, so it's the person who is, because uh, an older person, um, a younger person may have a higher uh, heat, whatever, a high body heat and so on. So everything in the average, if you put all the scenarios in the average, and that last limb has not dried up, okay? So the fuqaha did not want to give us, uh, you know, seven minutes, or ten minutes, or fifteen minutes. So whether you're an old person, whether it's night, whether it's windy, let's say I'm an old person, and it's the middle of the night, and it's windy. Uh, it may take me, you know, seven or nine minutes, uh, or 10 minutes or 15 minutes for that, that limb to dry uh, we, we go by the, the, the average so we always go by the average so which is about 7 minutes or so I don't know this is my own estimation is that good? good enough? okay so we go on and then we speak about I, I think this is where we left off last time we did not speak about what is the face so we we wash, okay. We start washing, and then we do uh, the first pillar. Okay, we all know that we wash. We start with our hands, then we wash. We do our mouth and nose and so forth. Uh, the first pillar is the face. The first pillar is the face because Allah in the Quran says, "Ya ayyuhal ladina amanu idha qumtum min al-sarti faqsilu wujuhakum." Faqsilu wujuhakum. After the intention, the face. This is the the first pillar. So now we know, want to know what is the face. We all know what is the face, the nose, the eyes, the, the, the forehead. Uh, what are the limits? What are the limits? So it says here, we're going to define the limits of the face. The limits of the face long, longitudinally, longitudinally, min manabiti shahri rasi al muatadi ila muntahad dhaqni. Let's say I have an average face where the the forehead I am not I am not bald if I'm bald it's still the average place where a, per, a person's a normal person's face starts the hair starts so where the hair f ends is is where your face starts and it goes all the way to a dakn dakn is the it's not the beard a dakn is the jaw the jaw so this is the jaw right here so it ends that's the face the face ends here so when you wash your face you don't go all the way here that's the neck that's the, not the face and it's not here under the under the, the jaw so the jaw is here okay so from the head to the jaw as for its uh, width the limits of uh, going widths uh, if you look at the ear there is there is a little thing popping up here in the ear, in the middle, and everybody has that. Subhanallah, there is a little bit of a flesh here. That's al watad So the face goes all the way to al watad but it does not include al watad It stops here at al watad al watad is part of the ear, but it's all the way to al watad So it says, min watad min watadi min watadi al udni ila al watadi al akhar. From here to here. 
فلا يدخل الوتدان في الوهج الوتد ورد ريد جست اسكرايد ليتل بيس اوف فلاش ان ذا اير از نوت انكلودد ان ذا فيس ولا البياض الذي فوقهما ولا البياض الذي فوقهما سو الوتد از هير there is a bayad there is a, a natural place where the hair does not grow above your ear or above the wetted that's not part of the face so it's it's this so yes this part of the beard that you see here is part of my face so it says wala al bayad alladhi fawqahuma wala al sha'r wala sha'r al sudghayni al sudghayni is above this so this is the sudgh right here a sudgh there is hair here so this does not so this is part of the face but this is not part of the face and this is sha'r al-sudghayni sha'r al-lihya sha'r al-dhaqn is part of it but sha'r al-sudghayni is part not part of it so this is the face right here wala al-bayad alladhi fawqahuma wala al-sha'r everything's clear I was going to do a drawing, but I think uh, we have a video, it's good enough. وَيَدْخُلُوا فِي الْوَجْهِ وَلَا وَيَدْخُلُوا فِي الْوَجْهِ الْبَيَاضُ الَّذِي تَحْتَهُمَا وَلَا الشَّعْرُ الصُّدْغَيْنِ وَيَدْخُلُوا فِي الْوَجْهِ الْبَيَاضُ الَّذِي تَحْتَهُمَا Al-bayad is like some people have uh, a lot of hair that comes here. So underneath it, al-bayad, that, that's the flesh. Underneath this hair is part of the face. Okay, that's pretty simple and clear. فيحصل وترة الأنف. وترة الأنف is this here. Between the nostrils there is flesh. وترة الأنف وهو الحاجز بين الثقبتين وأسارير الجبهة وأسارير الجبهة. So some people have have wrinkles. So الجبهة is part of the face as well as the wrinkles inside of the face. Should be so everything which is considered the surface. Okay, so we're continuing here. ويدخل في الوجه البياض الذي تحت ويخلو so 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 وهو الحاجز بين وظاهر الشفتين. So if you close your mouth, the surface of your lips is part of your face. Okay, so this is not your face, but this is your face. So the surface of your face, surface of your lips are part of the face. وَمَا غَارَ مِنْ جُفُنٍ أَوْ جُرْحٍ أَوْ أَثَرِ جُرْحٍ And any place, like some people have, subhanAllah, we're not, uh, Allah created us very different. So we may have uh, some, you know, uh, how do you call these things, uh, the holes here, uh, the cracks, uh, the wrinkles, uh, also, if you, if someone uh, may have a, uh, in blessure, huh? Sorry. Sorry. A scar. A scar. So a scar. So whatever happens to be inside of that scar as well, unless you are, unless it, it, it must be, it must be uh, uh, recovered. Like it must be cured, of course. Otherwise, you're hurting yourself, and you're not supposed to hurt yourself while making wudu. That scar has been recovered. It's it. But in but it's it's deep, so you have to wash that scar and and the surface of whatever skin is in that scar scar. Okay, clear, good. We've, we're done with ghusl uh, So now we know what is the face. So when we wash our face, okay, we do it with the with, with water, okay, and we wash from the bottom from the top to the bottom, and we do it. We do it once. We don't. I mean, the, the rukun, the pillar of the face, is just to do a delk once, not to do it. You know, and keep. Make sure you do it once, and you do it properly. Go everywhere, and so on. The one who is uh, who has uh, uh, receding hair, or the one who is totally bald. What is the ruling for this person? We've mentioned that just earlier. لا يجب على الأصلع أن ينتهي في غسله إلى منابت شعره. If he has hair all the way here, he's not he's not uh, required to do uh, he go all the way there. No, it's just here. It's whatever the face is 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 uh, um, the, 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 you know, determined by by what we've just uh, we've just said. That's uh, a very quick question and a very quick answer. 
هل يخللوا by the way all these questions and answers uh, are very uh, are, are not similar but almost, almost identical here it's questions and answers but in the book of uh, Ad-Dardir and As-Sawi they are explained in, in a different uh, method so we're not losing out and, and sometimes inshallah I will go back and tell you what the meanings what some of the, the so we're not losing out inshallah we'll, I'll go back and I'll refer to Ad-Dardir inshallah and As-Sawi Rahmatullah alayhim jami'an they are very beneficial inshallah we will learn even from the other schools in, in case we'll, we'll see that today today we will need to go today we will need to touch upon um, um, some of the rulers in, in other schools do we do this Tahleel is to if someone for a man the male the man who has a beard do you do Tahleel Tahleel is to put your fingers inside and to shake it, to uh, move it. Tahleel al This is Tahleel al When you wash your hands, especially in the in in this in the, the pillar, when you do the pillar, the first when you start your wudu, this is the sunnah. When you do your ghusl, when you do this, this is the the pillar. When you do the pillar, Tahleel al is is uh, mustahab. Uh, I'll go. We'll go back there. I'll have to review that. It's it's it's. Uh, is it a recommendation? Is that a recommendation, or is it a sunnah, or is it as a pillar? Okay. We'll get back to that, and we'll find out, inshallah. So tahlil shar. Do we know? Do we need to do tahlil shar? If كان الجلد يظهر من تحته, if you have hair that can be seen from underneath the the, if you have skin that can be seen underneath the hair. I, my 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 uh, beard is long enough today. You may not be able to see any skin, but if it's short enough and you can see the skin underneath the hair, then you must do tahlil. You must allow the water to go all the way to the skin. Okay, tahlil shar. This is for the male, of course. So in kan al jildu yadharu min tahtihi bi an kan al sharu khafifan wajiba wajiba tahliluhu. And I just described what is tahlil. والجلدو بالدلكي بالدلكي أو بالدلكي. so this is it. this is enough to do it. وإن لم يظهر الجلد وإن لم يظهر الجلد من تحته. sorry so I I think I mixed you up. so if the so the, if if the person has a lot of a lot of hair he does he does this with his fingers. if he doesn't have a lot of hair you can see the skin underneath it. Then you can all, all you have to do is a delk. The same thing that you do for your skin, you do for your beard. If it is thin enough, if you are able to see the uh, if you are not able to see the skin. If you are able to see the skin, okay, I'm confusing you guys, eh? I'm confusing you. Let, let's read it again. Let's read it again. Inshallah. In Canal tell me, tell me, speak to me. If if you're confused. Oh, I got it. MashaAllah. In كان الجلد يظهر تحته بأن كان الشعر خفيفا وجب تخليله. In كان الجلد يظهر. In كان الجلد يظهر. So this is uh, the simplicity of Islam, the simplicity and the ease of an Islam. If you're able to see the skin underneath, you do this. If you cannot see the skin underneath, you have a long beard. What's going to happen? You cannot go through the beard and do this, and so, it, so the water reaches your skin. All you have to do is delk. Okay? All you have to do is delk. So if you can see the skin, you do takhleel. Repeat it, okay? If you can see the skin, you do takhleel. If you cannot see the skin, relax. We can do just delk. Okay? Fine. So uh, I, 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 that's, that's my, <laughs> my uh, final word, inshallah. <laughs> Uh, sometimes you know your mind goes and then you may say the wrong things. May Allah forgive us. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So, وَإِنْ لَمْ يَثَارِ الْجِلْدِ مِنْ تَحْتِهِ بِإِنْكَانَ الشَّعْرُ تَكَافِيفًا لَمْ يَجِبْ التَّخْلِيلُ وَوُجِبَ تَحْرِيكُ الشَّعْرِ لِيَدْخُلَ الْمَاءَ بَيْنَ الظَّاهِرِهِ وَإِنْ لَمْ يَصِلْ إلَى الْبَشَرَةِ So it doesn't matter if you have a lot of hair on your face, if you have a beard, a long beard, a thick beard. It's not a problem if the water does not reach your skin. That's it. تكلم على غسل اليدين. Now we want to speak about washing the hands. And here, when we speak about washing the hands, we're not talking about the first instance of opening the tap or pouring the water on your hands. 
That's the sunnah right here, just the sunnah. We're talking about the hand which is ila al-marfaqin. So, ila ya yuhal ladina amanu ila qumtu min as-salah, fakhsilu wujuhukum, wujuhakum, wa aydiyakum ila al-marafiq. Ila al-marafiq. So, this is the al-yad. Right now, we're speaking about the hand which is from here to here, to the elbow. Ila al-marafiq. So, takallam. Uh, okay, tell us, speak to us about washing the hand. Ma huwa hukmu takhleel. وما هو حكم تخليل الأصابع ونزع الخاتم؟ and let me just and uh, admit uh, سيد أحمد سيد أحمد السلام عليكم did you wait a long time so I just uh, I was just speaking to you and telling you about what is the ruling of تخليل الأصابع so what do you think is the ruling of تخليل الأصابع washing it between your fingers let's go and and find out إن شاء الله يجب غسل اليدين إلى المرفقين واجب so it is the pillar it is an obligation to wash your hands all the way to the elbow بإدخالهما في الغسل بإدخالهما في الغسل there are some opinions some differing opinion that does this elbow does this elbow uh, is this elbow included المرافقي you know when we speak about a limit the limit of your limb do we include that limit or it's just like a demarcation this is where you stop, so it can be okay if it's just before it. There's differences, a little bit of differences, but the, the, like the Al Mashhur and all the, the scholars, they say it's better to include it. Include it. Uh, and I think the hadith, Wainun lil aqabi min al nar, that was, or, no, that was for the, uh, the heels. Wainun lil aqabi min al nar. So uh, it's always better to include the elbow all the way to, to the elbow. So it says, uh, إدخالهما في الغسل مع وجوب مع وجوب تخليل الأصابع ومعاهدة تكانيش الأنامل وغيرها. So it is واجب to do this when you wash your hands like this and so you you take the water you pour it all the way here and then you go back here when you come back you do تخليل. And when you do tahleel, it is wajib as well to go through the wrinkles or cracks of your fingers or your, uh, yeah, your fingers, whatever the cracks happen to be. Uh, so make sure, and, some, and I've seen some, some, um, some students of knowledge telling me what they have learned from their teacher and they, can, they also do the, the, uh, the fingernails. So, it's so you do the hold it so everything is done in a, in a very fluid way you know you wash yourself with water which is fluid and you do the movement which is also very fluid so you take the water you let it drop here and you and you push it up and then you do tahleel al-asabi' and then you go from the 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 fingernails and then the uh, the uh, the the finger and, and the cracks in the in the wrinkles so we've done 35 minutes uh, I don't know if we should stop here we can go another I hope we have I think we have maybe some five minutes I wanted to cover something which is interesting we'll see if we can do that uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim let's just continue and try and finish this part and then next week we will, we go, we will go into the Sunan so we'll try to finish the, the, the pillars this time Is everybody's okay? I don't like doing it long uh, it's not very conducive to do that so we've just finished about Tahlil Asabia and we are, we've asked the question what is the ruling of removing the, 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 the ring okay the man puts the ring here the small finger or the woman may have a ring uh, a wedding ring it's okay we're not talking about these things now a man may even have a golden ring which is haram I mentioned not wear, wear that So I mentioned not I mentioned not be wearing uh, gold, but just keep in mind that even if it is haram, it does not invalidate your wudu. However, you know. Uh, so we're 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 speaking about here uh, the the rings. It's not necessary. It's very interesting. I'm running a little uh, anxious here because I don't want to make it long, and the time is getting very short. But this is, these are all very important points about uh, some, someone may have a ring and there's something in, in, in uh, Sharia or Al-Fiqh 
something which is called al khatim al ma'dhun al ma'dhun which is permissible in the sharia which is first of all it is out of uh, silver and it is a certain weight it's very light and you put it here so if it is very light and it is in silver you don't have to shake it you don't have to remove it so that the water comes in it can remain there and it's part of your hand it's part of your fingers and then you can do your ghusl like this and without touching the ring but it must be a certain size and a certain uh, weight and it must be in, in silver even if water does not come underneath it whether it's for the woman or, or, or the man so for the man it has to be silver and for the women it can be uh, gold it doesn't, ha doesn't matter أما إذا كان غير كان غير مأذون فيه كالمذهب كالذهب للرجل فلا بد من نزعه. so even if it's very small, okay, even if it's very small, and if it's gold for the man he must remove it to do his wudu because it's not مأذون. Uh, فإذا كان واسعا يدخل الماء تحته يكتفي بتحريكه. if this ring let's say it, it's big and it's silver, the man is wearing this beautiful ring with this beautiful, you know, sapphire and so on. If it's large, then he can just shake it. Shake it. Move it out a little bit and put it back. And you don't have to, you don't have to make sure that water has come in underneath it so that you can put it back. Because the scholars have said that moving it up and down once or twice is like making a delk. Okay? So uh, this is beautiful because you find it in some other books of, of, uh, of fiqh, but it's not right here. And it's clear here. It's enough that you just move it. So what is the permissible ring for the man? It is in silver and it, is, it weighs only two dirhams. How much is that? Allah alam have asked uh, Sheikh Ibrahim one time. And he said maybe, I don't know, five grams. It's not sure. It's not very clear. Next question. And this is the last one. And maybe we'll leave it here because it's something very uh, important. It has to do with wiping over the head. Mesur Rasi. I'll do it. I'll say it very quickly. And we'll get into the details next time. We will use, uh, we will go into the other schools of thoughts because uh, this is a contextual. This is something which has to do with, with um, what we live through, especially for the women. For the men, it's wiping the head, and all the schools do the same thing, you know, even even if the Shafi'i say just a little bit, one or two, three hairs, just part of the hair, um, they still do the entire head, and they still do this because the hadith is clear. Um, and the women, it's the same thing, exactly the women. So we, I, I want to speak about later on, inshallah, next week, how uh, the woman does her, if she has long hair, if it's braided, um, if she's wearing hijab, what does she do for the man if he's wearing the imama, but it's not, uh, it doesn't pertain to our times so much. But for the woman, yes, the woman is wearing a hijab. What does she do? And what does the Maliki opinion say? What does the, the majority of the, sc of the schools, al-Jumhur? And what is the permissibility for her to do? So I'm leaving you with that question. Inshallah, we'll speak about that next time. I will stop the recording. Bismillah, alhamdulillah, jazakumullah khair. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala Sayyidina Muhammad.